Now, before you guys get into this video, if you want to get dreadlocks or you want to make dreadlocks or you have them and you want to maintain them, you can go to greatlocks.com or check out the links in the description of any tools or products that I've used before. Obviously, I don't have dreadlocks anymore, but I'm sure all these people that are going to be featured in this video have used some of these products and they're all really great products. So go check all those out if you want to get them or you want to maintain your dreads that you do have. But other than that, enjoy today's video. It's going to be really cool. Yo, what is cracking, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got my coffee from... I made it downstairs, but I have Starbucks cups. And today we're gonna be looking at people combing out their dreadlocks. For all you who don't know, I actually combed out my dreadlocks at the end of February, if I'm not mistaken. And maybe at the end, I don't know, it was sometime in the beginning of the year. And yeah, I've been rocking my hair naturally. It's actually not curly right now because me and Kellen did a photo shoot. Make sure to go follow and subscribe to Kellen's YouTube channel and his Instagram page. Uh, because he just released one that's really cool. He's my son. It's pretty cool to get a glimpse of his life from a different perspective, even for myself. But go check him out, go subscribe to him, and follow him, like I said. Uh, links to his stuff is in the description. But yeah, we did a photo shoot yesterday. It was really cool. But I wanted to react to people combing out their dreadlocks because it's been a while since I've watched any of these. And I've seen that some new people have combed out their dreads. And one of these are actually freeform dreads, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how this goes. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's get straight into it. But this is the guy I was talking about of him having freeform dreadlocks and he combed them out. So let's take a look. This is actually Black Reacts. Kinda nervous. I don't know what the outcome I remember that feeling. His still look pretty immature, like um, they don't look like they were there for that long. So it should be an easier process because they weren't in there for that long. So this is his hair down. Like if you were to keep him in, they would look really dope because they would turn out really thick because the sections are really big. And like I said, they are pretty immature because there is a lot of like new growth and uh, frizzy hair. And over the years, that would all tighten up. All right guys, so this is fresh out of the shower right here. His hair looks almost like he probably moisturized it. You can see that it dropped a little more. So it's pretty cool, because he's actually combing them out and he's gonna be restarting, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. I might keep up with his, uh, you know, his lock journey and everything like that. Because there's certain people out there that I'm just like, man, your lock journey is so dope. So he actually has someone helping him out, comb them out. And the thing about his dreadlocks, you can see that they're very tight at the tips and for a little bit of the length of his hair, but as far as the roots, they're already like just a bunch of new growth that isn't locked up yet. So once you get past that length, should be straight and it will be easy, uh, easy to comb out. Looks like the little boy in the back's growing dreadlocks too. That's pretty cool. Looks like they're free forms if, if they're anything. I know some kids' parents they'll let their kids' hair get like pretty nappy and then they'll just like go ahead and maintain it um, periodically, not all the time. And I think that's actually healthy for children's hair. Is like if you allow it to just do its thing and then wash it and then detangle it and do all that stuff. But dang, all right, that's one dreadlock right there. He still has a lot of length and it looks like he's preserving a lot of his hair. But like I said, um, with people that have kids that do that, I, don't, I honestly think it's probably um, pretty healthy for their hair to allow it to grow, do what it wants, and then go ahead and uh, maintain it. All right, you guys, that is the combed out look. And, or actually it's not, he still has two more dreadlocks going right now. I, I don't know if he's gonna keep those, but it looks like he's done. So I'm assuming he's gonna keep those two in the front, which is pretty cool if he's gonna do that. And I mean, considering that he's going back into freeform locks, um, it's gonna be pretty cool and um, dang you can see some breakage right there. That's interesting But pretty cool hair texture. I think that's a cool hair texture to have. He's about to come out this Oh, just gum just like that. And that's what happens with dreadlocks Like there's gonna be some sort of breakage a lot of the time, especially if you do any maintenance on your hair I mean to tell you the truth with anything in general, but got a lot of hair loss, but that's normal It's gonna be interesting like I said to see what he does um, With his hair. He's got some pretty good length and that's a really cool hair type. His hair texture is A4C, so it's really kinky. And his hair's gonna lock up really fast, which I thought was really interesting how his hair wasn't that mature, but then again, he probably didn't have them that long. That's why I'm saying that, is because his hair was mature in some spots, and in other spots, they were like not mature at all. But he's got some good length. It's gonna be pretty cool to see him freeform at this length. Oh, so he actually did comb out um, all of them. And yeah, his hair looks cool. All right, so anyway, that was really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the next one we got, which is from Anna's World. She was stressed, super stressed. So just from the looks of it, looks like she's had her dreads for probably, oh, looks like, <laughs> it says two years. So she's had her dreads in for two years, which is probably around the time I was gonna say, because they look super mature, but at the same time, um, there are some things that can improve, like the tips and the roots. And at the two year mark, like, of course your hair is fully mature, but there's still little things. I say like, t to be honest, like at the three, three and a half year mark is when you really notice the maturity of dreadlocks. 
So that's a big thing to consider while going into the dreads. Like, are you going to be able to have the patience in order to go years, I would say a year at least, to allow your hair to um, mature up? So she's using the end of a rat tail comb, which I've seen people do this before. Did she? What happened? Dang, her dread like this reminds me of my hair. Because her hair is long, and I mean, my hair is a little longer than hers. But sheesh, that's a lot to go through. She probably has like over 100 dreadlocks. That's too much, man. If I were to have the knowledge it took to, um, well, nah, I'd still comb out my dreads, but it took me three months, three months to comb out my dreadlocks. There's so many people out here who get them done like in a day, maybe like a week at max. But it's like, it took me three months to comb out my dreadlocks. And I think it's because I was the person that did interlocking, crochet hooking, all kinds of different things. And see, look, she already combed out all the sides. Jeez, look at all that hair. She still got a bunch of length. The thing about combing out your dreadlocks though, is like the tips of your hair, from my personal experience, and I'm sure everyone else too, is like the tips are just so damaged from combing out that entire dreadlock. And then it's just so much thinner and I mean, I trimmed my hair yesterday because I'm trying to get rid of all that, you know, breakage at the tips and I'm probably going to end up having to trim my hair again. That's why my hair is straight because I wanted to do, uh, my, I wanted to trim my hair when it's straight or blown out is what you call it, I guess. That's one thing to consider if you're combing out your locks and you've had them for over a year, maybe two years, you're going to have a bunch of breakage and your hair is going to be thinner at the tips. All right, so all of them are combed out. They're looking really good. Hair type is probably a 4C, maybe? Maybe a 4B? <laughs> what? So, pretty good length, but the thing is, like I said, there's gonna be some breakage to the tips. <laughs> so I wonder how, how long it took her to comb her hair out, because it's as if she combed them all out, and then she said she just went to school, and then she got compliments as if, like it didn't take her three months like me. But that feeling of getting all your dreadlocks combed out is such a relief. And at some point you're like, dang, I just got rid of all my dreadlocks like how she was. But at the same time, since it takes so much energy and time to actually comb them out, you're, you're stoked. Like you're more happy than like upset that your dreads are gone. Dang, her dreadlocks are long. She looks like she has over a hundred dreads and her hair is long. Dang. This is what would bum me out. If your hair is that long and then you comb it out and then it comes to be that short. That's the thing about having really curly or kinky hair is when you comb it out, it's it's gonna be short. It's gonna look really short compared to your dreadlocks. She's had her dreadlocks for 12 years. Wait, like, I need to make sure I heard that right. Twelve years. It's gonna take some time. See for her, it's the same as me. It took me a bunch of days. So she had some combed out already. And I feel like that's just a practice round. Like for me, I noticed this too, is I combed out one of them and then I really didn't have the intentions of combing out all my hair. I just combed out one to see what it would look like. And it was the really big Congo, I think. I think it was my five head Congo. Combed it out and I wasn't even thinking of combing out the rest. And then I combed it out, looked at my hair texture and I was like, dang, this looks clean. But even then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna comb out everything. Um, I'm just gonna keep it how it is. And she's using tweezers. That's interesting, tweezers. Me personally, I used a, what is it called? A lice comb. And you can use a dog comb too. I use the dog comb as well, which I actually recommend a dog comb over a lice comb. But tweezers. Now that's what's gonna take you a long time is the tweezers. But combing out your dreadlocks, there's not really an actual way to do it the most efficient way. It's kind of like you just do it and hope for the best and then it's like, oh, this works now. Versus like an actual way of doing it. Dang, our dreadlocks are long. So with her having almost, I would I would say easily over a hundred dreadlocks on her head, she has a full head of dreads. That's tough as it is. So not only does she have a full head of dreads, but she's had them for 12 years. You know how much maturity that is? That's like maximum maturity, especially for the lengths and the tips. But one thing to notice is that there's so much breakage on the hair naturally. I'm not saying just from maintenance or doing methods, is that if your hair is that long, it's as if the hair that grew out five years ago is no longer attached to your head. So it's like you have new hair growing in at the same time old hair is falling out. It's like you have a whole new batch of hair, but you can see how short her hair is. 
Like that's how long my hair is when I comb mine out. But that just goes to show that there's batches of hair that comes in dreadlocks. It's like, that's tough. But it's worth it. Like once you're done and say you wanted to comb out your dreadlocks, it's worth it once you're done with it. It doesn't matter the length of your hair. It just matters that you have more than if you were to shave your head. So this is day two. She still has a lot done. Like she was going in if she got that much done in one day. Y'all wanna see what my hair looks like down? Cause I'm sure you're sure y'all haven't seen it yet cause the video hasn't came out yet. Actually, has it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna wear my hair down cause I feel like some of y'all haven't seen my hair straight before. This is just an intermission. Like even when I straighten my hair, like I wouldn't even consider it straight. It's just kind of like, the best way to explain it is like blown out. She said it takes 30 to 60 minutes to comb out one whole dreadlock. But what? That's crazy. For mine, it took, it took me 30 to 60 minutes per dreadlock too. So I don't know. I feel like it's the same. It doesn't matter how long your hair is. But yeah, y'all, this is my hair. Pretty nuts, right? Pretty cool. It smells really good. Hmm. Sheesh. The thing about the thing I really like about long hair is that it smells good, man. It smells really good. Sheesh. Come on. So our mom ended up helping her take out last of her locks. So it's not bad, but her hair is really short and that's something that you have to get used to. I knew I had to get used to my hair looking short. So she did a twist out and you can only imagine like having really long dreadlocks and then doing a hairstyle that almost looks like dreadlocks and then she does a twist out. But it's like you have an imitation look of dreadlocks almost and I'm not saying that's what a uh, two strand twist or a twist look like. Or not saying that you do twists in order to make them look like dreadlocks. But if you're doing an imitation hairstyle that looks like dreads, and then you used to have dreads, you're like, dude, my hair is so short compared to how it used to look. Like when I do box braids, like my hair looks pretty long in them. <clears throat> but yeah, it looks good, it looks really cool. But at the same time, my hair doesn't look super full um, when I do the box braids. Really cool. You can see one thing with her hair, what was the same with mine, is that her hair is almost different lengths at some parts. And that's how my hair looked too, so everyone deals with that after coming out. Looks pretty clean. Looks dope. So the video I watched before was actually from Vanessa Shani. This one's from Cade Fresco, and he's showing how you can comb out dreadlocks for $15. You guys can go check this video out. It's actually on his channel. Um, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing because I just wanna see him actually comb out his. And what I mentioned earlier is he actually is combing out his with the end of a rat tail comb as well. For me, I didn't wanna do anything like that because I feel like it's gonna take longer to use a single prong versus the whole comb, all the teeth. Maybe it does work better. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it because it took me forever and all these people are getting theirs done like within a day. I think he combed his out in a day as well. Obviously his hair is shorter. So it looks like he probably had his dreads for maybe over a year. His hair looks mature at the tips, um, but at the roots, they do look fairly new. They look a little stiff and that comes with, um, you know, immature dreadlocks, but his, he might have had them for probably a year, maybe a little over a year, but even like I said earlier, like having your hair for a year, there's still so much immaturities in your dreads. Um, it looks like he has a mohawk of dreads, but he's getting through it pretty quick. And the interesting thing is that he's like maintaining all that blonde hair. And y'all know me, um, I actually had blonde tips on my dreadlocks, and none of the blonde lasted through the comb out. And that's like how I mentioned earlier as well, is like it kind of comes in batches, it's like my hair was in multiple batches and all the blonde was in a batch that didn't want to last. But yeah, he has some nice curls, that's for sure. Looks pretty clean. See, that's an interesting feeling right there, like having curly hair right after dreadlocks. It's so nice. He's gonna do a two strand twist to keep it out of the way and then let's see what everything looks like afterwards. So that's what it's looking like. His hair looks dope. Like, I like that look. I like the blonde tips on like curly hair. It looks pretty clean, especially like this. Um, not super blonde, like not too much of the blonde, but barely at the tips looks clean. But you guys, that's that. Watching people comb out their dreadlocks is so relatable for me because I combed out my dreadlocks, like I said, not too long ago. It was probably four or five months ago. It's just such a good feeling to be done with combing out your dreadlocks. And you can see that in every single person that combs out their hair. It's like they have that sense of relief at the very end. And that's what I felt like. So. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to go check out all their channels because they have some really cool content. But what do you guys think about my hair? I think it's pretty cool like this, pretty interesting. Um, like I said, I mostly did this just so I can trim my hair properly because I wanted to make my hair all one length at the best of my ability. That's just so that there's not a bunch of breakage when I comb through my hair and stuff when I do. Like I said at the beginning, don't forget to go check out Kellen's Instagram and YouTube channel. Links to those are gonna be in the description down below. Don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com for dreadlock products or even curly hair products if you have uh, curly hair or anything else. Basically, if you have hair in general, you can go check out greatlocks.com or the links in the description of the products and the tools that I've mentioned. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.